All right, guys, the Typhon's all repaired and back in order. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my old T3i Canon and I'm gonna just see if I can film with it. I know it's just gonna be really crummy focus, but I wanna see if I can have the car come towards the camera and it'll come into focus as it's coming into the camera. Just a little experiment. All right, guys, so here I'm just messing around to see if um, a DSLR camera, an older one, would be of any use. I've got it fully zoomed out and I wanted to see what it looks like as the car comes in or out of frame. Um, obviously it's not going to be very focused, but yeah, it seems to be work pretty cool. Kind of just something to do. It's really stopping, on, stopping a lot differently than it used to. Um, the diff fluid is heavier in the front now than it is in the rear. It's like twice as heavy than what stock would be. So the whole front end dips down when you brake on it. That's weird. Well, let me see if I can get that in a better shot of that. See how it just dips right down? Crazy. Stops on a dime, man. All right, back in cinematic. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus in right about in that area. So it sees the car in about that area. It's focused, it should lock in there hopefully, we'll see. Wicked man. I just love the Typhon. I don't know why, I just really like it. It's just such a good car to drive. Whoa. I'd really like to give this a good speed run, but I'm not going to destroy it. Get it back out in the dirt pretty soon, that'll be good. It'd be nice to get a nice flat dirt area to run this in. I'd love that. Or some decent jumps. All right, let's take her out in the dirt. Not yeah, this little thing. I don't care if it's a rock way. Just here, let me set my cones down. See if I can get you to the top of the hill here. <sighs> Starting from the bottom. Oh, missed your turn, buddy. It wants to, though. It really does. It really, really does. Come on, buddy. Come on, I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Did it. I'm gonna take it to some sand and see how it does. That's one heck of a hill here, man. I don't kill myself. Oh boy. <laughs> this is just all just pure sand. Yeah, man. man. Whew, pretty, pretty, pretty big, nice area. Let's see if I can cook through this sand. Put up some cones. All right, let's see how the Typhon holds up in soft sand. It doesn't have any problem getting over all that sand. I mean, as long as you're going at a speed of some kind. Mm. 
Yeah, we're running good now, man. I don't know what I hit there, but... Beautiful. Uh oh, steering's locked. God, this, this is a trail for miles, man. A nice soft sound. I love it. I'm loving this. Yeah, <laughs> soft sound, man. Just goes through anything, man. They don't care. They just don't care. I mean, I would highly recommend a Typhoon or a Granite for a first-time person if they like riding off-road because you just—they just make it through everything really well. Nothing stops them. They're indestructible. Let me get a little slow-mo action down in here. What the heck is that? What'd you do to yourself, you poor thing? What'd you do, catch a rabbit or something and wind it up in your gears? I don't know where that's all. It's like a moss or something. I think that's about it, man. I have that's a clean up here, man. Look at that stuff. Hmm, what is that? It's just some kind of real soft stuff. I mean, I get stuff cut on my axles all the time. It's kind of weird, but uh, yeah, man. This is not hurting anything. It's not strong enough to hold anything back. But sometimes it gets bound up really bad with weeds. I mean, it really restricts the driving on this. This is packed in there. I mean, it's packed. 